Catherine was a force. I think that's probably the best uh, word to describe her and, and how she worked. And she was uh, a person who was completely focused on ending youth homelessness. And she also was really focused on involving youth who are homeless in the solutions to youth homelessness. My first experience of homelessness was around the age of 12 and 13. I had been in a situation, a very unsafe situation um, of sexual exploitation for housing. And the trauma of my experiences didn't start to surface until a, a year or two after the experience. But um, I had to go to a psychiatric treatment and it was there that I actually met Catherine McParland and she helped me find housing upon being discharged. I had nowhere to go. And to have this stranger who was just the shining beam of light and showing me so much love and she actually brought me in to a way home Kamloops housing. From there, I remained in the housing program for about a year and a half until I graduated from it and I had the opportunity to go back to school because of Catherine. Going from a youth being served in the community to now being a service provider, helping empower the voices of youth, and that was all because of Catherine. Catherine's um, legacy has, um, is, I mean, I think it's still in the process of developing. She was, um, present at all levels, so the, um, the community, the local community, the municipal, the provincial government, federal. She was willing to challenge um, conventional, you know, approaches to dealing with um, youth homelessness. And when she undertook a project, um, she would want to see results and, you know, wasn't too concerned about what funding cycle we were in or anything like that. It was, this needs to be done now. Catherine was a true fighter for what was right and just and a tireless advocate for youth and youth homelessness in Kamloops. I first met Catherine when I was the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing and was immediately impressed by her breadth of knowledge and her passion for children and youth in care, and especially those experiencing homelessness. She also brought her leadership skills and expertise to the BC Coalition to End Youth Homelessness, an organization that elevated the many unheard voices of young people and helped inform policymakers on the needs of youth homelessness, drawing on her own personal experiences and her time in foster care. Catherine fought tirelessly to bring these voices to the foreground and was an inspiring advocate for young people in Kamloops and everywhere in BC. She touched the lives of many and will be truly missed. And she touched my life and I will forever remember my time with Catherine McParland. Catherine had a huge impact on youth homelessness um, because she was a, a, a strong advocate, a passionate advocate, um, wanting to share wanting to educate, um, wanting you to understand and see the big picture, the true picture of what was happening in our streets, what was happening in our communities. And she communicated that really well. It, there was a lot of caring and love in her heart. Catherine was operating at like the community level and at the provincial and even at the federal level, which she played some advisory roles there, but she had a big impact and on, on the government of British Columbia and their thinking around youth homelessness. And by, by joining the board of BC Housing, she really um, was an advocate there and effective in having us think more and more about what we were doing on youth housing. I think Catherine was, you know, she was a genius in connecting the real situation of youth coming out of care to the housing needs and what resulted from that as this super highway to homelessness, that this was one of the major ways that we could prevent homelessness in BC was to address the needs of youth and doing it with youth, which is always, always Catherine's message. I think she had an amazing um, impact on changing the whole discussion of youth homelessness and really connecting it to the importance of affordable housing. She was an incredible influence on me. I loved her. 
if Catherine was here, she would go out of her way to share it with everybody. She'd be like, this is not for me. This award is going to all the young people that she grew up with. She would say how this award is to be shared with all of her colleagues at Away Home Kamloops. And then she would definitely use it to say that this now is the time to create a plan to end youth homelessness. I, could, I can't think of a better person to receive this award. Um, it's super sad she can't be here. For me, she was a sister and, you know, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for her. <laughs> and she really helped me find my sense of purpose and belonging in the world again. And I witnessed Catherine using her voice. She was a fierce warrior for youth. And she continues to be because she has made such an impact that's gonna be felt for generations to come.